Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on coordinates. It's important to know the definition of what a coordinate is. Remember coordinates are the pairs of numbers which specify the position or location of a point and it's always from the origin. Remember the first value of our coordinate identifies the x value and the second value of our coordinate identifies the y value. Remember your alphabet x and y. Some teachers like to say along the hall, then up or down the stairs. Nice little tricks for you to remember. You do the horizontal movement first and then the vertical. So let's jump to some exam questions. Here the question wants us to write down the coordinates of A and write down the coordinates of B and plot on the grid a particular coordinate. So let's have a look at coordinate A first. Well, to work out coordinate A, remember, we have to go along first and then up or down second, always starting from the origin. So, starting from the origin, we've gone across 2, then up 1. So, therefore, our coordinate is 2, 1. Now, let's write the coordinate of B. Remember, always from the origin, we've gone across to minus 2, and then we've gone up 3. So therefore, our coordinate is minus 2, 3. Next, the question wants us to plot the coordinate minus 3, minus 1. Well, remember, start from the origin. We go across to minus 3 and down to minus 1. So this is my point C. Looking at another exam question, it wants us to write the coordinates of point A, write the coordinates of point B, Write the coordinates of the midpoint of AB and then identify with a cross point C so that ABC is an isosceles triangle. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. So writing down the coordinates of A, remember we start from the origin. So we've gone across 2, up 1, so the coordinate is 2, 1. Writing the coordinates of B, remember we start from the origin. Well, we haven't gone across any, so it's 0, but we've gone up 5, so it's 5. Now we're asked to write down the coordinates of the midpoint AB, so let's draw a line. Drawing our line, you might be able to spot our midpoint quite easily. So the midpoint is identified as, from the origin, 1, 3. So that's the coordinate of the midpoint of line AB. Now we're asked to mark with a cross a point C, so that ABC is an isosceles triangle. Well, there are many different answers to this, so let's see how you got on. Firstly, let's use AB as one of our equal lengths. So therefore, drawing another equal length, you can see we've got an isosceles triangle. Therefore, we could say point C is 4, 5. Now let's have a look at another point. Well, you could have put point C here, whereby we have A to B is equal length to B to C. So therefore, could have had the coordinate 4, 7. Another point you could have had is 5, 5. Another point we could have had is 3, 4, where BC is equal length to AC. And the last point you could have had is the coordinate 7, 6, where you can see BC is equal length to AC. So there's many different answers here, but it's always important to identify an isosceles triangle has two equal lengths. Now let's have a look at another exam question. Here the question states that the points minus 3, minus 1, minus 2, 2, and 3, 2 are three vertices of a parallelogram. We're asked to find the coordinates of the fourth vertex of the parallelogram. To start you off, I'm going to plot the coordinates minus 3, minus 1, minus 2, 2, 3, 2. See if you can identify the fourth vertex to make our parallelogram. Press pause if you need.
Like I always say, the great thing about mathematics is there's always more than one way to find a solution. So you may have found multiple different positions for that fourth vertex. So let's have a look. Well, connecting the points we have so far, you might see we could have made a parallelogram by connecting this vertex, which is 2 minus 1. Another vertex you could have identified is when connecting these points, you could have made your parallelogram using this vertex, which is the coordinate 4, 5. Another parallelogram could have been made by connecting our vertices in this way. So therefore, our last vertex has the coordinate of minus 8, minus 1. It really doesn't make a difference as long as you've formed your parallelogram. So in summary, it's important to know the definition of a coordinate as it identifies the position or location of a point from the origin. And remember, some exam questions allow you to have multiple different answers as long as you understand the properties of the shape that it wants you to plot. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.